There are two types of stock splits. A forward split which will reduce the stock price and increase the number of shares and the reverse split which increases the stock price but reduces the number of shares. Now stock splits do not affect assets or liabilities. A forward, forward split reduces a high price stock therefore making it more accessible to the average investor whereas a reverse split might make a penny stock increase to a price level more respectable to investors. Now let's do an example really quick. Let's say we have a two for one stock split and let's say there's you own 200 shares a lot round lot at $250 the first thing we do is we have to take the number of shares and we multiply it by 2 and divide that by 1 there's your 2 to 1 and in essence what we've done we multiply by 2 and divide by 1 we've increased the number of shares now what we have to do is take that share price take the share price and divide it into the value of the entire lot. Well the value in the entire lot was a hundred dollars I'm sorry a hundred shares times the two hundred and fifty dollars per share gives us twenty five thousand dollars. Now let's divide it by the new number of shares and we get a price level now of one twenty five so we have twice as many shares at half the price. Now let's look at it on a uh, reversal split. Let's just do the opposite. Let's do a one for two split. Uh, let's have a hundred shares at two dollars and fifty cents. So we take the one hundred and we multiply it by the one and divide that by two. So there's the two for one here and there's the I'm sorry the two for one, the one for two and now we have fifty shares and let's find the value of the entire lot. The entire lot was worth two hundred and fifty dollars or a hundred shares times the two dollars and fifty cents given us $250 divided by the new 50 and now we get a share that's worth $5 so we have less shares at a higher price. Or right, let's look at some more examples. Uh, here's a couple more. Here's a let's do the three for one. Let's say we have a, a hundred shares at $500. If we come here we do the same thing. We take the 100, uh, we multiply it by the three and divide by the one. There's the three for one and we get 300 shares and here we find out the value of the entire lot was $500 a share times the 100 shares divided by the new number of shares and we've reduced the price from 500 down to $166.67. Uh, let's do a, another example uh, of a reversal. There's a couple of examples here for you as well. Uh, we have a one for four reverse stock split. So we take the number of shares would be 100 times 1 divided by 4, there's the 1 divided by 4, and we've reduced our shares to 25, from 100 to 25, and now we find a new stock price. We find the overall value was 100 shares times a dollar divided by the new number of shares, which was 25, and we've increased the price to $4 from a dollar. Finally, let's take a look at, uh, here's a uh, stock split. Uh, this was a forward split a few months back. Uh, by Apple and you can see Apple shares was trading at about six hundred and forty nine dollars and then they did a seven for one stock split and changed the price to a, I guess you can say a more respectable uh, amount that an average investor could afford uh, at ninety some dollars here in the ninety range now what I tend to do is look at the adjusted close very important to look at the adjusted close especially when you're calculating for things like betas um, one other thing taxes uh, taxes are not affected by a stock split neither are dividends. The only way that taxes would be affected is, is if you were to sell some stock. You have to realize income to pay federal taxes on it. This doesn't. Um, it is uh, inconclusive that a stock split uh, increases the shareholders value nor do we know if dividends increases the shareholders value. So I hope this helps on calculating forward and reversal stock splits.